<laughs> Boom, and we're back. So today was Aaron day and Lindsay has gotten groceries. We didn't show that. You've all seen the inside of Walmart, so you don't need to see the yeah, inside. Yeah, we showed that in one up. Sometime. Season three. <laughs> but everybody's been to a Walmart. We just filled up on propane and just to give you a little insight on that, this is a great place in La Paz. It's on the one as you're coming into town. Um, it is, uh, what is it, Baja Oil and Gas? Yeah, and it's big. Okay, so really awesome. If you have your uh, RV and you have to get filled up with an internal tank, um, it's great. You pull up and it's like a gas station and they just hook it up and fill it up. They fill it up to the right level. We went to the other place in town, which is on the way out toward Los Barillas, and they overfilled it there. Um, so this place was awesome. And they print out a receipt and the price is posted. So spectacular service. Guy was great. Left a little propina, which is a tip. You don't have to tip. We'll talk about that in Baja, but you don't have to tip for, for getting propane. Um, but I went ahead and did it anyway because he was really nice, really friendly. And he tried his best to speak English, even though I could speak enough Spanish. It all worked out well. So we're going to go fill up on fuel. And that will be the last time we fill up on fuel, hopefully for a month a and a half, <laughs> maybe. We'll that see. That would be nice. We'll see because we're headed to a beach and we're hopefully headed there for a very long time. But we'll see. So on to the next little task that we have to do. And now we are at the gas station, which is a Pemex. Right now it is 21.99, 21.99 pesos, basically 22 pesos per liter. So you got to do the math on that if you really want to know. We'll show you in just a minute. Um, but it's about 20 pesos to the dollar right now. So it's a little over a dollar a liter. And there's almost four liters in a gallon. So it's right around $4 a gallon. Might be just a little bit less. I'm not that smart. I am not that smart to do it in my head, but I will show you. I calculate all of our mileage and our miles per gallon, and every time I log it all in our logbook, um, so I can show you every mile all the way back to the very first day we hit the road when we had our truck camper. Um, but anyway, here at the Pemex, you pull up and you don't serve your own gas. Somebody will come out and they'll help you. They'll fill it up. They'll ask you what kind of gas you want. So I said regular. It's 87 uh, octane, and you say full, and so they're gonna fill me up all the way to full which is uh, going to be about 45 gallons. I'm, uh, that's what I'm estimating. So 45 times 4, 90, about 180 uh, liters times. That's going to be a lot. It's going to hurt. It's going to break the bank. Except, Lindsay, did you break the bank already? I did. I broke the bank at Walmart. Yeah, it hurts. It hurts really bad. And we didn't even get any like cool fun stuff out of it. I didn't even ask, ask you to get any sugar. We got sheets. <laughs> sheets. She bought sheets so when we do the laundry in La Paz you have to drop your laundry off. We'll show you that later on. But you drop your laundry off and then you got to come back in like three days. That's okay with clothes and boxers and all that stuff. We got extra underwear. But we don't have extra sheets. And now we do. Yeah. Apparently they cost about $150. Because that's what you spent. 150 pesos. That's, that was the cheapest set they had. Oh, but you spent $150 at Walmart. Oh, yeah. So it was like $150 pair of we got groceries, sheets? we got food with it too. Oh, we got, oh, so it was buy the sheets, get the groceries for free. Yes. I love, I love those <laughs> deals. She's amazing when she finds those deals. Buy the $150 sheets, get the groceries for free. Mm -hmm. And uh, will you go back and do that deal again? I mean, if you want me to. I think it's a terrible deal. Yeah, but... I don't think we need a third set of sheets. All right, so um, I'm gonna go check in on the gas fill up and, and really you should watch the pump and um, they should show you that it's zeroed out. Should have said this first, um, but they should show you that it's zeroed out because there's these old wives tales about people ripping you off at the gas station where they might start it while it's already got so much there. I really don't think people are going out of their way in general. It hasn't happened to us to, yet. Yeah, it hasn't happened mm -hmm. to us and I don't think people are that terrible. Um, so I, I, I don't, usually do that. I just get out and say hi and I'm friendly with the person and uh, and they're usually friendly back and so I'm just kind of a little bit trusting. But if you want to check the pump just make sure they zero it out and then when you get the final bill count out the pesos as you're giving them because it's going to be for us it's going to be like 3,500 pesos um, which is like 165 US dollars. Lots of money. So make sure that you count out the pesos when you're doing the 500s which is how the ATM gives it to you and so you can show them very clearly that you don't like you're not skimping because sometimes we've heard that as well. They'll say, oh, you didn't give me, you know, your 500 pesos short. And then that's basically how they put 500 in their pocket. Again, it never happened to us. The Mexican people are amazing. For those of you out there who like to tell us how terrible and dangerous and all that is, um, click the unsubscribe button if you've subscribed because we don't want to hear it. Nobody wants to hear it. People are amazing all across the world and the Mexican people here are no different. 
Um, it's actually more dangerous and more challenging to travel through Chicago, Los Angeles, Dallas, you name it, Phoenix. Um, American cities are more dangerous than this wonderful peninsula. So anyway, I'm gonna go check on the gas. Okay, so to do this right, there are 3.785 liters per gallon and we put 297 liters in. Whew, it was expensive, 3.785. That is not right. I gotta, oh no, we put that's the miles we drove. I'm an idiot. <laughs> so we put 161.5 liters divided by 3.785 is 42.7 gallons. And uh, we drove 297 miles on that 42.7 gallons. So we got 6.95, so we got 7.0, which is about average for us. And we paid 3,600 pesos divided by 20 pesos to the, we paid $180 for that tank. Wow. That's crazy. Divided by the 42.7 gallons. That is the price of gas right here in La Paz. $4.22 per gallon, which my understanding is still cheaper than California. You tell me, those of you living in California, don't tell us, we don't really care. Everybody knows California is more expensive, but that's, a, that's some pretty expensive gas. Good news is, we're not gonna be, once we get out to the beaches, we're not gonna be moving very much. So on that note, oh, and if you wanted to see, look at this. All the way back to, look at that travel log, March 27th, 2018. That's, That's how long we've been the on the road. Almost four years to the date. And uh, here's mile, mile number one in the truck camper, 446,820 miles on the day we left. How about that? Pretty cool. We moved a lot. All right, speaking of moving a lot, on we go to go get Scott and Melissa and hope we get out to the beach today. The only thing is, is our step Come that we, we don't use that step, but it might hit the rock. Slow down, Chris. Slow down. It's good. It's clear. It's clear. Yeah, okay, so go. Keep going to the left. Okay, come straight. Yeah, go to the left more. Okay, keep going. Yeah, you're good. Straight. Good. You're good on both sides. Come straight. Don't turn yet. Straight. We gotta clear the back. Okay, you can start to turn to the left. Or to the right, I'm sorry. Yeah. You're good. You're good. Tough. <laughs> All right, straight. Keep coming. Probably another five feet. 
All right, we're gonna try to pull this rock out. <laughs> this big boulder. All right, let's try that. <laughs> Just tighten it up a little more. Oh, okay, is it gonna move? <laughs> I think it's nice and easy. See what happens. I don't know if this is gonna work. <laughs> oh, it is. It's moving. It's moving. Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> <laughs> We're redecorating. Wow, that was that was easier than I expected it to be. Yeah, let's just move all the rocks. <laughs> that was way too easy. That was way too easy. You drive this thing like a champ. We made it. We got all set up. It is awesome. And uh, I got distracted setting up camp and I miss the sunset. So I'm gonna flip around and show you what we're looking at. And uh, we're gonna end the night, I think, with a fire for our first night here on the beach. And we are in our happy place. Scott and Melissa and their boys and Lindsay and the dogs and I, we're happy. We do hope that you've enjoyed this video. We hope you've learned something about traveling here in Baja, Mexico. If you have, please send us a positive comment. If you have a question, let us know. We'll get back to all comments, all questions. If it's negative, we're not gonna pay attention to it. Positive, 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 positive. Thank you for being a part of our journey. We're super stoked that you're part of our journey and we're happy to share our lives with you as we're on the road. Like this video if you haven't already done so. Tell your friends about our journey and how we're trying to pursue abundant life on the road. And we've got more great information about how we live this life um, because starting tomorrow, it's opening up the computer, punching a bit, bunch of keys, and uh, getting back to work. But with an office view like this, I think we'll be all right.